In the past week, you've mocked Mr. Trump's tan, you've made fun of his spelling, you called him a con artist, you suggested he wet himself backstage at the last debate, along with other vulgar jokes and jabs. So what happened? Yeah, you know, Brett, let me say something. This campaign for the last year, Donald Trump has basically mocked everybody with personal attacks. He's done so to people that are sitting on the stage today. He's done so about people that are disabled. He's done it about every other candidate in this race. So if there's anyone who's ever deserved to be attacked that way, it's been Donald Trump for the way he's treated people for the last campaign. Now that said, I would much prefer to have a policy debate. I hope that's what we'll have here tonight. Let's have a policy debate. Let's will. talk about Donald Trump's strategy and my strategy and Ted's strategy and John Kasich's strategy when it comes to ISIS and on health care and on the important issues facing this country. But let's be honest, too, about all this. The media has given these personal attacks that Donald Trump has made an incredible amount of coverage. Let's start talking again about the issues that matter to this country. I'm ready to do that starting right here, right now, tonight. Mr. Trump, your response? Well, I also happen to call him a lightweight, okay? And I have said that, so I would like to take that back. He's really not that much of a lightweight. And as far as, and I have to say this, I have to say this, he hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I, 